Who am I? A loser? A disabled? Or something to pity? Or something that reminds you that your life is actually great? Choose. Who am I? In fact, don't bother because I will not give you the power to define me. I know who I am. I am a champion. Yes, a champion. That is who I am. The journey of winning multiple gold medals and breaking world record hasn't been easy. But I did it. I thank God. As I was told, I'm very, very small when I had this uh, incident of polio. My mom told me that I was taken to the hospital and I was given injection. On getting home, that I could mean that I've been standing before holding something that I could not be able to like stand and hold anything again. They started carrying me from one hospital to the other. Uh, as I was told, I was told it affected my two hands and my two legs. My disability affected my school because I could not be able to like go to school early. And the way my younger ones have been going, it really pays me a lot. So at the end of the day, when she took me, she took me to a private school. We had a bus, we be like taking me off to school, bringing me back at home. She took all what it takes to like join her with my dad to send me to a private school. Even the same, the same thing in my secondary school. She did the same thing. And at the end of the day, you know, when she died, my education died. It's very, very hard for a disabled person, even to have friends. I only play with, uh, my, with my brother and my sisters. Because no woman, no parent will want their child. Uh, as in, people believe that being a disability is something that, like, if you are playing with me, even you, you become a disabled. Uh, you know, they can't uh, all disabled as somebody who don't have future, somebody who is nobody, a beggar. Particularly, you know, if you don't have money, you can't have a girlfriend, you can't date anybody. I know I'm getting old and I need to like uh, get married. And I found somebody that loved me where his parents denied me. And at the end of the day, I determined to train to become a champion. That is where I give myself courage that this powerlifting is going to take me to a great place, which I started doing. I met Coach Ale in 2005. Uh, Kendi Ale is the one that introduced me to Coach Ale. He even handed over me to Coach Ale that Coach, uh, I brought this boy for you to train. So at the long run, he started giving me his jersey. He always used the clothes to motivate me that each time I'm wearing the clothes, I should always remember that uh, is a champion clue because he too really wants me to become a champion so that I'll be able to like give people my own clue too as a champion. And at the end of the day, I started lifting, I started lifting as in I was very, very happy yeah, with the way I'm lifting. Even up to date, I believe out of all the old athletes I is training among the men, I'm still the best. In 2013, I started going for world championship. I went to Kazakhstan to break African record again, to set another new world record. In 2014, which is Commonwealth in Glasgow, I'm the man of the match then. I collected the gold there. Then, in 2015, All African Game, I did the same thing. I, I topped the record I set in 2013, where I set another new African record. In 2016, I really come outside with a very fly color. Yeah, I set the new world record twice in 2016. And in 2016, I still went for a championship in Malaysia. Yeah, I set another new world record. In 2017, in Mexico, I set another new world record with 221 kilos. I changed my story, I reached my peak, and I believe you too can. I know who I am, I am a champion, I am unstoppable.